you may purchase a digital copy of this drawing by clicking on the link provided below. Can you believe this, Vladimir? An honest-to-goodness alien spacecraft right here in the middle of the Sahara Desert. I know, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. The level of technology is simply mind-boggling. Look at the alloys and materials they used, nothing like anything we've developed on Earth. And did you see the size of those skeletons we found inside? Massive, at least 10 meters tall. These must have been a race of giants. Remarkable. I've never heard of any human civilization that could produce beings of that stature. This spacecraft and its occupants must be of extraterrestrial origin. But the big question is, how old is this thing? Based on the state of decay and corrosion, I'd estimate it's been here for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Just think of the implications, an advanced alien civilization visiting Earth in the distant past. Absolutely. This changes everything we thought we knew about human history and the development of civilization. We'll need to reevaluate all our timelines and origin theories. Look at this device, I will press this button to see what happens. Oh dear. This is like a 3D virtual diary recorded by the astronauts. Listen. As, as I, I sit here, trapped amidst the wreckage of our doomed craft, I can't help but reflect on the series of events that led my family and I to this desolate, alien landscape. The downfall of our once great civilization on the planet you call Mars, or as we know it, the land of care, was a slow, agonizing process. We had become so blinded by our own arrogance and hubris that we failed to heed the clear warnings of the coming calamity. In our quest for dominance over the other mother spheres of this solar system, we had grown cruel and disrespectful toward the natural laws and the cultures of our cosmic neighbors. The true creator had commanded us to uphold these ancient traditions, but we cast them aside in our pursuit of power and technological supremacy. And so the land of care descended into chaos. Our climate systems fell into disarray, temperatures plummeting to unbearable levels. Food supplies dwindled, and panic set in among the people. But our corrupt leaders, drunk on their own self-importance, refused to acknowledge the truth, that our world was dying. It was only through my own diligent research and scientific analysis that I was able to see the grim reality unfolding. I knew we had to flee, and quickly, if any of us were to have a chance at survival. With my family in tow, I hastily prepared our luminous celestial craft for departure, hoping to find refuge in one of the sparse colonies scattered across this solar system. The journey was arduous, taking many long months as we traversed the vast, empty void between worlds. I kept a vigilant watch, constantly monitoring our systems and navigating through treacherous asteroid fields. My children grew restless, while my wife offered words of encouragement, though I could see the fear in her eyes. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, we caught sight of a small, remote colony on a dusty desert world. I guided our craft in for a landing, my heart racing with a glimmer of hope. But as we neared the surface, something went horribly wrong. Suddenly, alarms blared, and the systems began to fail. The craft lurched and shuddered, spiraling out of control. I fought desperately to stabilize our descent, but it was no use. We were hurtling toward the ground at an alarming rate. Brace for impact. The crash was deafening, the sound of metal tearing and glass shattering. I was thrown violently against the bulkhead, pain searing through my body. When I finally opened my eyes, I found myself buried in the wreckage, my limbs trapped beneath the twisted frame of the craft. Slowly, I turned my head, surveying the devastation around me. To my horror, I saw the lifeless forms of my wife and children, their giant Acadian frames crushed beyond repair. Tears streamed down my face as I realized our quest for a new future had met a tragic end. I tried to call out, to see if any of them still clung to life, but the words caught in my throat, replaced by agonized cries of anguish. The colony we had hoped to reach was likely too distant now to ever discover our fate. And so here I sit, trapped amidst the wreckage of our doomed craft, my body broken and my spirit shattered. I know that my own life is slipping away, and soon I will join my family in the great beyond. But perhaps, in these final moments, I can leave behind a record of our story, a testament to the downfall of the once mighty land of care, 
and the tragic fate that befell its final, desperate refugees. I recall the day we fled our dying world, the sense of hopelessness and uncertainty that hung over us like a dark cloud. We had come so far, enduring the rigors of interplanetary travel, only to have our dreams of a new life dashed in the most cruel and unforgiving manner. As I lie here, I can't help but wonder, was there something more we could have done? Could we have somehow averted the calamity that befell our people? Or were we doomed from the start, victims of our own hubris and disregard for the natural order? These are questions that will forever haunt me, echoing through the void of this silent, alien world. For we were the masters of this solar system, the leaders of a civilization that had achieved unparalleled technological and spiritual heights. And now, we perish anonymously in the vast, indifferent desert of Earth, a world that will never know our story, our legacy. Farewell, my people. May our tale live on, a cautionary reminder of the consequences of pride and the importance of humility before the true creator. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. You may also purchase a digital copy of this drawing in the link provided below. Thanks for watching.